Good morning, happy Tuesday, everyone. Yeah, I'm not feeling the greatest. My ribs still hurt, and that's why I don't really feel the greatest. But honestly, using that as my lowest bit of a cop out. Luckily, I can tell you exactly what my low is. Um, that was probably the most amount of thunder and lightning I've seen and heard in quite some time. That, that was my computer. I just turned on my computer. I got a look at this week's hot ones yesterday. You know. Um, but my high is, uh, you know, I got to see my family yesterday. That was really nice. And my act of kindness was, I actually I did several acts of kindness. I uh, helped my mom prepare dinner last night, and I also helped with uh, watching my uh, nephews when they came over to visit. Although they couldn't stay for very long. Or, actually, I think they stayed for a few hours. What I meant to say was, they couldn't be outside for very long. Obviously because of rain. And again, it rained hard. Like, there is some, there was times it was thundering out and it actually kind of got me. And thunder lightning doesn't, Honestly, thunder and lightning doesn't really scare me, but the thought of getting struck by lightning does. I mean, yeah, it's possible to live through being... Hold on. Oh, you're all these things popping up. Okay, I guess. So it's gone. Um, where was I? Right. It is possible to live through getting struck by lightning. But I personally am not going to risk it. Tell me that you're money. 2004 days and I still don't know how to fix the camera angle. Uh, I was about to... See, that's how bad my ribs are killing me. I can't even sneeze. I literally just had the urge to sneeze. And the pain legit stopped me from doing it. So... It's only been five days. It's only been five days since I've hurt my ribs. And they still don't really seem that much better. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. I mean, the one thing that is getting better is the amount of ibuprofen I've been taking. As in, I've been trying to rely on it less. Which sounds stupid, but you gotta remember, ibuprofen really is not bad for your kidneys. To be perfectly honest, since like, literally since May of last year, I've put on like 40 pounds and it's been like completely water. And I don't know what the problem is, but I'm not going to exacerbate any further by taking, you know, too much ibuprofen. Because for sure ibuprofen is really bad for your kidneys. Long doses of it over time that is. I mean... Obviously, if you're in pain, of course you should take it. No, no question. Especially if it's a pain that would otherwise debilitate you from doing, you know, regular everyday tasks. But, again, you gotta be careful of the side effects. And, again, one of those side effects is it's really bad for your kidneys. Although sometimes when I take ibuprofen, I get, like, canker sores in my mouth, too. Surprisingly, that hasn't really happened yet. Not to my knowledge. So, you know, we gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. Um, so, aside from being th this being the last Tuesday of the month of June, this will also be our final Hot Ones guest in the month of June. So how about we look up who it is? Okay, let's see here. My foot got tangled up in the wire right there. Alright, so. And. The. Hold on. I want to look up something before I do anything. Because sometimes I. I'm not going to lie, sometimes I legit lose count of how many hot ones yes, we had. Uh. Let's see.
Uh, okay, so this will be the 19th Hot Ones guest of 2023. Okay, so the 19th guest of Hot, the 19th Hot Ones guest of 2023 is going to be, ooh, actually, hold on. I, w I wanted to see if I can do it again. We've got a Hot Ones guest. We've got a Hot Ones guest. We've got a Hot Ones guest. I wonder who it is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make that thing from now on. I'm not gonna lie, it's just so catchy. Anyway, and this week's Hot Ones guest is... Oh, no way. No way. Oh, no way. Dude. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, hold on. Um. Oh. Oh, this is quite fascinating. Before I get into uh, who this week's guest is, I'm looking on First We Feast Instagram right now. This will be the 300th episode of Hot Ones. 300 episodes of Hot Ones. Can you believe that? That's insane. I mean, I myself have seen a vast majority of them, to be sure. But 300? And of all people, actually, you know what? It doesn't quite surprise me. When Hot Ones had 200th episode, they had comedian Hannibal Barras on there. That was a good episode. And I guess it's kind of fitting that the 300th Hot Ones guest is another comedian. And not just any comedian, but one who actually had a really great stand up special come out recently. John Mulaney. Yeah, man. We got John Mulaney. I mean, it'd be easy for me to talk about, actually, you know what? Whether I realize it or not, I've known who John Mulaney is, has been for years. Ooh, sorry, trying to hold back a yawn there. Uh, let me set this down, hold on. Come on, man, okay, let's set this down gently. Okay. There we go. So, believe it or not, my first introduction to John Mulaney, and keep in mind, I didn't watch this because I knew better, but in like the early to mid 2010s, there was a new sitcom out called Mulaney. And I'm watching the, that was the first time I ever actually saw John Mulaney. And I'm legit watching the trailer for this, um, for this show. And my th first thought is, oh, okay. It looks like in the realm of Seinfeld. So then they show this one woman. Oh, she acts kind of like Lane from Seinfeld. Um, and then they came, showed this one nervous looking guy, and like, oh, he kind of reminds me of George, from Seinfeld. Only, only, this George is actually black, so, so, diversity! And, and then they get to like, oh my god, is that Andre? It's Andre! Coming in just like Kramer! From Seinfeld. Yeah, needless to say, the show Mulaney did not last very long. In fact, I will never forget the Rotten Tomatoes consensus about that show. Because Rotten Tomatoes is a show, too. And, see, and uh, it said, John Mulaney, we know Seinfeld. We love Seinfeld. You, John Mulaney, are no Seinfeld. So, honestly, if I'm John Mulaney, I'm thinking, you are never going to get to work in this town ever again. But he's still around. In fact, not only is he proven to be a really funny comedian, 
His knack for voiceover work is actually quite impressive. I mean, my first introduction to him was uh, Spider-Ham in the movie Spider-Man and the Spiders. And he was great. I had no idea that was John Mulaney. And then there was uh, Chip when they made that uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie. I thought that was really cool. I mean, I didn't see the movie, but I've heard some pretty solid things about it. And finally, in terms of voiceover work, I can't really mention anything about that without talking about Jack Horner from Puss in Boots The Last Wish, which I had finally seen flying, uh, flying to Vegas. So I actually saw the movie, Puss in Boots The Last Wish. And I mean, if you've never seen Puss in Boots The Last Wish, it's really good. In fact, the only reason why it didn't win the Oscar for Best Animated Picture was solely because Guillermo del Toro had to make, like, the 500th version of Pinocchio, I guess. So, there you go. Um, but, John Mulaney is Jack Horner. Oh my gosh, John and Jack. So, oh, for those of you who don't know, Jack and John can actually be used interchangeably sometimes. The best example is, uh, uh, late president, the late president of the United States, uh, John F. Kennedy. Sometimes he actually wants Jack Kennedy. Which actually makes it even cuter when you realize that his wife was named Jackie. So, Jack and Jackie. <laughs> that is kind of cute, isn't it? But, yeah, John Mulaney was great in that. And most recently, I saw his Santa special, Baby J. And actually, hold on a second. I gotta look at my city, you know, just for reference sake. Oh, shoot. I completely forgot to mention John Mulaney when I talked about Day 2000. I'm sorry. Well, what, well listen. A thousand days is a lot to process. I'm not going to get everything. So, uh, any John Mulaney fans out there, I'm sorry I forgot to mention him on day 2000. I am sorry. And trust me, I'm going to be kicking myself for a while about that. But yeah, John Mulaney on Hot Ones. Okay. And for the 300th episode, no less. Okay. That is, that's crazy. Although, now that I know it's 300 episodes, I wonder if when writing the title of these, writing the title of these YouTube videos, if I should do either like Hot Ones episode 300, and then like the next one do Hot Ones episode 301. I could do that. I mean, I don't know, because here's the thing with writing YouTube titles, you only have like a hundred characters in a YouTube title, and then like you can it. that's so stupid. Like, you should be able to, a title of a YouTube video really should be as long as it needs to be, whether it's a hundred characters or not. I mean, trust me, there have been plenty of, especially when like, you do my videos where, you know, I do like hashtag Pride Month 2023 or hashtag Save Inside Job. Those all count as characters. So honestly, it's like trying to play Jenga with like fitting in however many letters you need in a YouTube title. And quite literally anything you type in the title counts as one of the characters. A blank, pressing this... You press the space bar a hundred times, guess what? That's your YouTube channel. I'm serious. That, that's really how it works. Yeah, YouTube, I'm really grateful that you have a platform with, for which I can put my videos on. But y'all really need to work on your YouTube title game. You do. You do. 
You do. Okay? But, honestly, it's the sort of thing where I'm more annoyed about than just sheer mad. Because, listen, trying to upload day 2000, that was the reason for me to be mad. Because there's no reason why I should have taken the entire day to do it. I was legit worried, like, seriously, I mean, my videos on YouTube never really get that many views. In fact, the last one that had, like, a stupid amount of views was my video on Across the Spiders. But even then, it didn't even break a thousand. I mean, don't get me wrong, I probably could be doing better to promote more, do something to make my stand out more, but, you know... I just don't really know how to do it. But I'm learning. And that's, that's actually one thing about doing these videos every day. I'm learning more. I'm able to become more comfortable, more transparent. And even mention how, again, in like the last year, I've gained like 40 pounds. And I'm not remotely a fan of that considering how long did it take me to lose it to begin with? Yeah, I know, I don't look that bad. But, you know, let's just say I'm not the most comfortable in my body. Although if I had a girlfriend, I probably would feel a lot more comfortable. Because she would like me for who I am. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. Sorry, something caught my eye. Uh, see a big old dump truck out there. Right over where I'm, literally right where the Pizza Hut is. Oh, yeah, right. There's a, there's a Pizza Hut in the parking lot across from my apartment. Relax. It's a, one of them, seriously, the only reason why I haven't gone to that pizza is because it's not a, it's like not a dining place. It's a drive through So, no, like, the only reason why I would ever go to Pizza Hut now is for that pizza buffet, which, to the drive through there's, there is no pizza buffet. Although I will admit though, the line for Pizza Hut when it first opened was crazy. It was crazy, crazy. It was stupid crazy. But, uh, yeah. So John Lee is going to be a hot one that I personally can't wait. I hope you all like this video. If you like this video, you can follow me on social media. As always, I'm very humble in this video. For all of you guys watching, enjoy it. We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And remember, if you guys want to talk to him, I want you to be here to lend the other everybody. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.